This is Twit. You know, I stuck this under privacy, but it's really more of a security story and a judgment story. But much in the news this week has been the news of Hillary Clinton's use of her own private email server uh, while she was Secretary of State, that she actually never had a State Department address uh, that she used for um, her day-to-day emails as she was performing her duties as Secretary of State. I've seen people um, go back and forth on this, on both just sort of the wisdom and judgment front and the legality front. So I just wanted to toss it out to you all to see if you had any thoughts about um, highly ranking government officials uh, deciding, well, at least here, unlike some other folks like Mitt Romney and Sarah Palin, at least Hillary had her own server, right? She wasn't using Yahoo Mail. She wasn't using uh, Gmail or another private service out there. Um, does that make a difference, Sarah, do you think? I mean, that makes a difference from the perspective of whether they're secure. It doesn't make a difference from the transparency perspective. And that's that's the angle to me that's incredibly depressing about this. I mean, mm-hmm. from what I from what I've read, it's not clear at all that she violated a law. Um, there's there's a new law in place that would be prohibiting this sort of thing, but it wasn't there when she was Secretary of State. But certainly it's sketchy um, <laughs> to you know to know that she was exclusively using this private email account. She op- it sounds like she opened the account, you know, as she was sworn in. Um, this was incredible, you know, this was intentional and it's, it's really hard not to be suspicious of her motives in terms of open government and transparency. It seems like the opposite of, to me. All right. Any thoughts, Constantinos? Um, for one thing, I'm just wondering why this whole thing actually happened. Why did she need, uh, her own, uh, Server, I don't see a very good reason um, behind it. But as a security issue, I'm guessing that uh, to the extent that they abided by the very, very strict um, federal protocols on this, um, I don't see why it was blown so much out of uh, proportion. The, the, right. the problem is, um, so I'm, okay. if I'm not mistaken, the problem is that um, they don't they don't have access to the emails um, now, um, even though she ask them to um, release them. So I'm not sure actually if the same policies uh, about retention applied, in in which case this could be a transparency issue, not so much a security issue as much as a transparency um, issue. So um, uh, I guess I'm siding on this with with Sarah. Yeah, I mean, I suppose if you were a highly ranking government official and fairly technologically savvy or at least capable of hiring people who were, um, you could set up a server that would comply with the various transparency requirements and the record retention requirements and maybe feel pretty good about your control over that data. But I've got to think, you know, it, it just smacks me as something, although I was always a person when working within big organizations to um, try and have my own um uh, access to email and things just because it was more convenient. But it, it does seem like she's sort of, you know, going rogue here to borrow from Sarah Palin. What do you think, Sarah? <laughs> so so uh, I think the, the the points about transparency are, are certainly well taken. Um, yeah. I, I'm not sure in terms of security. I mean, there's physical security and that certainly, uh, because it was in the Clinton's home in, in New York, uh, which right. was, you know, under uh, Secret Service protection and all these things, uh, physical security was probably uh, about as good as it could have been under the circumstances. Um, but I, and I don't know the details about the the way in which the server was set up. But if there wasn't, you know, offsite uh, backup uh, protocols, and if there weren't those protocols in place, if there weren't uh, redundancies sort of built in, uh, and if there weren't necessarily uh, the level of uh, countermeasures against hacking that there would be in, in a government system that I'm not sure that the security was uh, up to snuff either. And that's something we may, we may not know. Uh, but in terms of uh, access to information, right, if, if it were a federal server, then the Freedom of Information Act attorneys that each 
uh, executive department and, and agency has would basically just go in and say, okay, we think it's responsive to whatever FOIA request we've gotten. So we're just going to go in and collect the information ourselves. If it's a private server, there's a layer of separation between the FOIA attorneys uh, who are involved in the process and uh, Secretary Clinton's uh, own attorneys who are sort of uh, running interference between her and whatever requests are coming. Uh, it's not going to be a presumption in favor of uh, delivering FOIA responsive documents, it's going to be a presumption against that. And the uh, attorneys for Ms. Clinton are going to have to step up and say, yes, we think this is worth turning over. Uh, they're at least going to have a crack at making those arguments before the documents are released. So that's really the, the transparency concern. 